Hey guys, I'm Alina with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Stephen, the first martyr documented in scripture. Stephen is said to have been a foreign born Jew who spoke Greek. He became one of the first deacons in the early Christian church directly following the resurrection of Christ and is described in the book of Acts as a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit. One of his duties when he was appointed deacon was to distribute food fairly to the Christians because they shared everything back then. His holiness and holy works and wonders caused the Jews to be very suspicious of him. They seized him on false charges and tried to challenge his wisdom with arguments about the faith but Stephen stumped them at their own foolish game. If you read his sermon in Acts 7, he basically lays out in the Old Testament how the Jews persecuted all of the holy prophets. From Joseph to Abraham to Moses, he draws a comparison to how they treated their leaders back then to now and how they persecuted and killed Jesus, who wasn't just a prophet, but also the son of God. The Jewish leaders already didn't like Stephen, but his speech made them, quote, furious and they gnashed their teeth. Scripture also says that while he was on trial, Stephen had the face of an angel. Unfortunately, his angelic beaming face couldn't soften the hearts of the Sanhedrin. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this they covered their ears, and yelling at the top of their voices, they all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city, and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul, who later becomes the Apostle Paul, while they were stoning him. Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he said this, he fell asleep. This was the beginning of a great persecution against the early church. After Stephen was martyred, Saul led a slaughter against the Christians, which caused them to do exactly what God wanted them to do, to scatter, to go to the edges of the world to proclaim the gospel. It wasn't as organized or prepared as one might have hoped for baby Christianity to be presented to the world, but there she was in all her young zeal being carried out of Jerusalem by Christians fleeing for their lives. How willing are we to let our plans be led by the Holy Spirit? Is our faith only there when it's convenient? Or are we willing to go all in when the going gets tough? The early Christians probably would have happily stayed in Jerusalem in the safety of what they knew, but God had other plans. By running for their lives, Christians were forced to bring their faith outside the realms of their comfort. Saint Stephen is a wonderful example to us of holy surrender and brave sacrifice. He also reminds us of the promise of heaven to come. Saint Stephen, ora pro nobis.